Lord, right on the chin. On the button. Picks him up, pop up, power bomb, cover. All right, MCW faithful standing alongside the lovely Zeta Steel, the real deal, for the very first ever Monday Match Madness right here on our official YouTube. Larry, I already know. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell. Well, yeah, you're right. All of those things. But remember, fans, there are five matches in a pinned comment down below. We want to know which one of those five matches you want to see the most. Who knows? It might be featured on the next Monday Match Madness or Free Match Friday. Now for the action today, it's Monster Mash 21. As number one contenders match, Moses will take on the cartel's Dante Caballero. Ooh, I want to see this. Now before we take a look at this match, make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And don't forget, if you like this content, you can head on over to mcwragetv.com. We're giving all new subscribers a 30-day free trial. You can enjoy the entire Monster Mash, the whole event, for an entire month. Just head on over and be a new subscriber and take part in all of the MCW action. Well, didn't see that one coming. Um, I thought he was going to kick the cartel out. That's what I thought. But I mean, so you made it easier for them to completely attack this guy? Phil Stamper, I think he's going to hit the sauce. <laughs> Also, who calls your ring announcer while he's ring announcing? Who does that? Phil Stamper does. Yeah. He, you know, his committee, shady tactics. Is there any impeachment of the MCW general manager? I don't know. I don't know either, but I mean, who wants that job, right? Interesting note on Moses. You got the facts? Since his singles... Journey, his singles expedition, his singles. Whoa, it's a little bit of honor there between the two. His singles walk into the desert, so to speak. He has yet to be pinned at all. Yeah, well, you know, it's just just along with that, not just not pinned. He also hasn't hasn't been submitted. This man has not been pinned. Nor has he been submitted Since in his singles run here in MCW. And if we want to date that, that goes all the way back to December 2016. Here we are. Almost five the, years later. Almost, five, almost exactly five years later, and Moses has not tasted singles defeat here in the MCW ring. Half a decade. He's only been competing for half a decade. Nobody is pinned. Moses is shoulders to the mat, one, two, three, in singles competition in MCW. And nobody has been able to attach a submission hold and have Moses either pass out, tap out, or say, I quit. Well, I tell you what, when you look at Moses, the one thing you don't ever see when you see him is the words, or the, the words, sun? I quit. Well, the sun, yeah. I was going to say the words, I quit, unless you're the one saying. It's not him. Like, you, like you're not going to do that. I mean, like, how are you going to pin that monster of a man down to his, by his shoulders? Moses would, it treats most of his opponents like Lunchables. I mean, he just... Picks them apart. Picks them puts apart. them back together the way he wants yeah, them. Yeah, And them. then eats them. <laughs> he has no trepidation, no second thoughts about dominating whoever he's in the ring with. Ooh, no, no, no. Those MCW tag team titles, you know, the SOS, they never lost them. They were signed to a Ring of Honor contract. They had to vacate them. And they had to vacate them, so they never lost those titles. Moses has never lost any title that he has won. What? what? Very true. Right? That's actually 100% true, right? <laughs> I never thought about it that way. Yeah. Because he's obviously held several championships. He just never actually... Lost them by pinfall submission. He just had to drop them because it was like, hey, I mean, I, I think in some places, not in MCW, but in probably other places, like, hey, look, I mean, I'm doing, I, I got, I've beaten your entire roster. Yeah, <laughs> like, probably like I'm taking this home. Yeah. And nobody says that. Like, make a new one. This was yeah. going on my wall. <laughs> yeah. Holy crap! Moses with the leapfrog! All right, that just adds a whole new level of terror when you see a man that large get that high. 
off of a vertical. No business. Yep, and Dante's getting the hell out of there. No business. Moses has no business <laughs> being that athletic. Oh, boy. That agile. As he rolls over the top rope, he tried to get a running start, but he was grabbed by a member of the cartel. I believe that's Diego. Yes, it is. Oh, man. He's thinking distraction. Keep in mind, we just received word on behalf of... Oh, once again, shoulders into the post and knees into the to the stairs. Those steps about... 60 pounds, yeah, of solid, yeah. solid mahogany. mahogany. Yeah, I, I, I mean, we just received word from uh, Larry Legend dressed as Judge Joe Brown. The, uh, <laughs> hold on, the honorable one. Oh, he's trying to get a cover. Couldn't even get him for a, a for a point one second of a cover. Uh, our general manager Phil Stamper. Oh, oh my God, that was there. Yeah. Pulling in from. Lord knows where, uh, saying this is no DQ, no disqualification, anything goes. That means the cartel's interference Jeez. is permitted. Cover after the stomps and nothing. Becky couldn't even get that. This is not a match that favors the prolific one Moses. Not in the least. He is completely outnumbered. Outnumbered. We'll find out if he's outmatched. You got to think one-on-one, -on -one, no interference, as talented, dangerous, oh! and cunning as El Jefe Dante Caballero is. Go for the cover now, though. Well, oh, not even. Couldn't even get it. You got to think Moses, straight up, mano a mano. Oh no! He could take. He would be the victor. Yeah. He would be the victor. And that's not saying anything bad about the skills of Dante Caballero. It's just can't say anything bad about the skills. Oh no! Dante Caballero is quite frankly the most well-rounded competitor and athlete and superstar here in MCW. Yeah, you know, I appreciate Dante Caballero uh, distracting the referee in a no disqualification match for the beatdown. Call old habit. Yeah. But, yeah. Know, I mean, you gotta practice. Practice. Right, right. You know, and, and old habits are hard to break. And, yeah. Man, it's it's got to be. Shoulder first into the post. It is a difficult task. If somehow Moses is knocked out, getting him inside that ring. He's going to need help. He's going to need a forklift. <laughs> he's going to need a bigger boat. The cover, though. One. Oh, he got a one that time, but not quite a two, even though Becky called it a two. Her. Uh, well, it was like a 1.95. This could be death by a thousand cuts. Yeah. Wearing down Moses. Oh my gosh. Great analogy there on what's happening. Because I mean, that's all really Dante Caballero can do at this point. He has to find it. He has to target something. He found the shoulder. Um, but he needs to target something to, to distract and, and, and hold and keep Moses down on the map. Chip away. Slowly chip away. That's the game plan. Stick to it. Don't get frustrated. Take a bit and peace every time you get your hands on Moses. Slowly. Oh, goodness. Like, like piranhas. Take away a little bit of flesh each time you go in for the bite and yeah. the kill. Eventually, Ooh. eventually, Moses will not get up. That's right. Moses, every time he shoves Dante into that corner because Dante's holding the injured arm, it is putting pain on him. So he's maybe, oh, there it is. He's maybe, he, I was just going to say, he's not getting as much force as he wants to because he has to keep his own arm from being injured. But Dante able to reverse that and get the upper hand. Again. Oh, catches him off the axe handle. It just throws him over casually his head, even with the injured arm, and now both men are down. Overhead. Belly to belly, busting El Jefe into another zip code. The bigger they come, Dante knows this, the harder they fall. And they don't come much bigger than Moses. The problem is, you gotta knock him down for him to fall. Oh! Okay. It looks like Dante's gonna be the first one to go down after that statement. Moses is taking him to town I mean, from pillar to post. A big back body. He grabbed Dante by the back of the head and threw him into the uh, uh, a buckle oh in the God. middle of the ring. Cartel already getting involved. Diego Cruz is sent down to the floor. But Dante is in trouble. Powerbomb action. Dante able to slip out of that because of that arm again. 
Oh Lord, right on the chin. On the button. Picks him up, pop up, power bomb! Cover! One, two! You see Diaz, that I little did. weasel. That little weasel, we caught him out of our periphery. Moses would not have though. Wow. Wow, yeah, Moses was down, had his back turned to him, and now he comes uh Alvarado. Thank you. You know, Diaz, that's where he pays off in dividends. Oh, well, there is shielding uh, Dante Caballero. Oh, he's, he's, a, he's a worthy distraction at times, but also. Yeah. Oh, up on the shoulder of Moses. Not good. Wow. Wow. Nice reversal into the belly to back. Here's the cover. One, two, and with three. Oh, no. Just the two. Thought for a second we had a brand new number one contender. And picking up that leg of Moses is like picking up a tree trunk. Yeah. I got to put money in the cliche jar. Oh, Lord. One footed drop kick. One, two, and oh! Dante, I've seen Dante win matches with that uh, maneuver before. Well, not able to keep Moses down, but he did get a two count, so that's a start, I guess. Keep in mind, yeah, that's further along than he's gotten before, or thus far. With I Moses. Told them, and I told this piece of trash, I don't need you to be there. That's new. It's, uh, I mean, I, mean I, I feel like that's a really bad time to make that decision. Look at the bull. Bull, just keep the drinks cold. Uh, he's consistently had that eyebrow raise since he came into his Oh, bad move on the roll. They're one, two. Oh, Dante able to kick out. One, two, now nowhere near enough way. Oh, Lord, one, two. Dante dropped right on his head. Up on the shoulders. Dante fighting out of it. Gonna get that line of paradise. Oh, what? Double headbutt, two headbutts. Picks him up. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Have you ever seen a big man move like that? One, two, and there it is, the cover. Regardless of what Dante said, Diego, Diaz, the cartel, they all have a job to do. And even though Dante doesn't need their help winning, I mean, he needed something right now at that there, moment. There's blood in the water and the piranhas are starting to feast, starting to pick apart the bones of Moses. Yeah, and there's no disqualification, so Becky can do nothing except for hope that she can convince them to stop. And El Jefe could Wait a second, we got Alec Odin coming down. Along with Pat Brink, these two bros are coming out together. And man, the cartel's in trouble. So, woo! Pat Brink almost sent them into the next lifetime. Yeah. <laughs> Had to change direction. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, no. It's Diaz. Oh! That's probably the best case scenario. <laughs> Al Cohn just stepped on Diaz on the way out. Yeah. Trying to get that line of paradise on the Pat Brink. Oh, Pat's got him up. Gets him down. Dante, Moses both on the ground. Pat Brink trying to shake him alive. The the oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead, I'm just going to say the winner of this is going to be the number one contender for Brian Johnson's MCW. Oh, 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 cartel disposed of. Dante is out. One, two, three. We have a new number one contender. Unbelievable.